Hi, shoe seven back. Not bad. Okay, so this video is gonna be about why don't women love themselves? Like, a lot of women don't love themselves, especially younger women. Um, and that's, you know, that's kind of like, you know, they have time, but sometimes they don't ever love themselves and they become older women who don't love themselves. So I'm here to talk about when you love yourself, the type of men that are attracted to you, that you attract will totally change, okay? And believe me from experience, I'm gonna tell you. Women who don't love themselves, they entertain any type of foolishness. They will entertain it. They will consider it. They will make excuses for it. They will figure out how to work with it. Those are women who don't love themselves because they don't think they can do any better. Okay, and when you don't think you can do any better, that means you don't think too highly of yourself. So that's why you put up with a lot of stuff because you don't love yourself. You don't have confidence in yourself. You don't see yourself as a valuable asset. You see yourself as, you know, an item sitting on a shelf that's on the clearance rack and no one's gonna pick you up unless you drop your price or unless you, you know, uh, or a two for one or whatever. You just don't have any value. You don't value yourself, okay? Um, you don't love yourself, okay? Now, how do, I, how do you know that you don't love yourself? And I love myself in a sense, no. You, when you really love yourself, you don't let anybody treat you any type of way. You don't let guys do certain things to you. You don't pay for dinner when you've been asked on a date. If you love yourself, you treat yourself like you deserve the best, okay? Um, for example, a woman who loves themselves, if a man asks a woman who loves herself out on a date and he asks her, oh, so where do you wanna go? She's gonna tell him exactly where she wants to go. She's not going to say, oh, well, why don't you decide or why don't you pick or, you know, uh, I don't know. What do you think? She's She knows who she is because she loves herself because she's spent a lot of time with herself to get to know what she likes. And she knows exactly the restaurant she wants to go to and which restaurant or place for the date that she wants a man to take her. It's up to her standards. She knows it's a nice place. She's going to know what she likes. A woman who doesn't know what they want or like does not love themselves because they don't know themselves and in order to love yourself you have to know yourself okay you women who love themselves will go out by themselves they'll go out alone because they don't need anybody else to tell them that they're you know this or that or they don't need any um, reinforcement to make themselves not feel like um, you know people are staring at them or their insecurities are being picked out by people in the crowd they are confident with themselves on their own and they can walk into a room and demand respect and attention because they have that inside of them already for themselves, okay? Uh, they're not insecure. They don't talk about their flaws. They've accepted their flaws and started to embrace them and love them as something that's unique instead of always saying, well, I don't like this about myself. And I don't like that about myself. They never talk down about themselves, never. So this is how you know if you love yourself or not. Do you use lots of negative words when you're describing yourself? Do you always talk about improvements or things that you need to work on and improve yourself? Do you see yourself as someone who is not valuable? Do you see yourself as someone who is, um, you know, expendable? like? I don't need you, I can go get somebody else just like you are better. You see yourself like that. Or do you know that there's something special about you and there's a quality about you that you can't get anywhere else? So if there was a guy who wanted you or liked you, you would be the prize because there's no one like you. You know, you're special. You There's something inside of you that you have to offer the world that they can't get anywhere else. You know what I'm saying? You have something special about you and you know what that something special is. Okay, everyone knows that there's just something about themselves that's very unique, 
you know, a talent they might have, knowledge they might have, enthusiasm they might have, a characteristic that draws people to you. When you figure out what that is, you're a valuable asset because you know how to use it, okay? Now, women who don't love themselves will put themselves out there, will take anything that shows interest as long as it's giving them the attention that they want at the moment, even if it's good or bad, you know? Um, for example, a woman who doesn't love herself and she just wants to get the attention of a guy, some guy will walk up and they will say, oh, I don't really want to get married. I, I just want to have fun. And, you know, I don't really want uh, any strings attached. You know, I'll buy you a drink. We can go hang out. And this girl will accept all of those things knowing that what she truly wants inside is a long-term committed relationship. But she's going to accept this garbage from this man because she's desperate and she doesn't value herself and she doesn't think that she's going to get any better. So she accepts that garbage, okay? So she didn't really truly love herself because she gave herself trash. You know what I mean? If you love yourself, um, you're not going to put toxic things on your skin. You're not going to drink poison. You're not going to do anything that's not beneficial to you. Okay. Now I know food and health wise and stuff like that, but everything in moderation, I'm, I'm talking about straight up poison. Like if somebody gave you something and you are hungry. Okay. And they said, well, I have this apple, but it's poisoned. Now, It'll make you full. You won't be hungry after you eat it. But you're going to be sick. You're going to throw up. You might lose a kidney in the process. I don't know. You might not even make it. But here, I know you're hungry. Now, a foolish person that's only thinking about today and their hunger and all they want is that apple and th that food in their mouth, they're going to take the apple even if it's poisonous or not. To please, first of all, to please the person who's offering it to them because, wow, they're getting attention. A person that loves themselves are going to ask questions like, no, like, why would I take a poison apple? I, I would just be hungry. I will wait for something that's not poison. I'm just going to, you know, I, I have discipline. I'm going to wait. You know, I love myself. I love my life. I think I'm going to pass, okay? This is how a lot of women should start treating these people who offer them crap trash and poison into their lives you need to treat them like exactly like that when I see when I see someone that is obviously a poison that's or toxic I will say and I'm talking about in the sense of you know making your life bad you see somebody coming up you know they're bad news don't even entertain them walk the other way you know, say you have a boyfriend, say you're gay, whatever you got to do to get rid of them, do it. Because if you sit there and entertain that, you're going to, that poison's going to start seeping into your life. You're going to start listening to these words. You're going to start, you know, letting it take hold of you. And you're not going to be able to say no if you stay there too long. And plus, someone who is better for you might be watching you deal with this type of person and suddenly lose interest in you because they know that you're the type of woman who doesn't love themselves because you deal with trash okay now i have so many people that come to me trying to get um you know the attention of someone who don't want them who treats them like trash who tells them they're trash and nothing but they still want them for some reason now this is what i call delusional okay when you're delusional and you don't get the picture that someone does not want you and you can't move on this is not so much confidence that you can have any person this is like almost a mental illness okay now if someone tells you i don't want you they don't want you they really don't <laughs> go find someone else um if somebody told me they didn't want me i'd be like you know what I'm glad you told me that because there are so many other people that want me and I'm not wasting my time here with you anymore. Thank you. Have a nice day. Deuces. Peace out. Whatever. Thank you for being honest with me so that I don't waste any more time with you. You know? Um, but some women are just like, 
they can't take no for an answer. They they can't take rejection for some reason. They, oh, well, I don't know why I do this, 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 and that. It's not about you. Most men don't see women as a person, especially young guys. Young guys see women as an object, what they can get from her. And most of the time, after they get what they want, they're gone, okay? That's why you make men invest in you. Time and money. A man that will invest time and money into you will not be so quick to leave after y'all become intimate. They'll be like, dang, I spent $5,000 on her, $1,000 on her, you know, hundreds of dollars on her, and she finally gave it up. But now, if I leave her, I have to do this again to get some, some somewhere for somewhere else. A quality a girl like this, you know? She made me invest time and, and, and effort into her. She must really care about herself and put herself on a pedestal. And it's going to be hard for any other guy to get to her. And the one that does is going to have to have money. So he might be better than me. He might be richer than me. So they're thinking all this. So they're not going to be too quick to let you go. But if you give it up easy, all in somebody's face, doing whatever they ask, answering the phone whenever they call, running over there as soon as they call, and then they don't answer their text when you call, you don't love yourself. You're just an object to them, okay? You have to be smart and you have to love yourself and put yourself first. You know, never put a man first. Always put yourself first, okay? There is no such thing as con There's no such thing as unconditional love between a man and a woman. It's always conditional. And the women forget this and they place the unconditional love on this man when it's supposed to go to a child or a family member. It doesn't go to men in relationships because everything is conditional in your relationship and once you learn that your life's going to change once you love yourself the type of men who are attracted to you are going to change the type of men that you want are going to change you're not even going to want the losers anymore because you're too good for them okay because you love yourself and you want to be respected so you're going to choose respectable men okay so i'm out thank y'all for watching thumbs up and leave a comment below bye